Hey guys, this is the next installment of the Garage Dayton Testing. This is one that has been repainted, uh, windings varnished, and uh, new bearings all about 10-15 years ago. The blades are steel, unlike the other one that had aluminum blades, and uh, they were kind of mangled, you might be able to see, and I straightened them out. So, first things first, let's do a zero to high and see what kind of starting current it gives us. Just like the other one, it goes to 1.01. <clears throat> Interesting, this one actually draws less current with the steel blades. I wasn't expecting that. This one also has a longer spin down, which is expected with the steel blades, but it doesn't stall out as much on low, which is unexpected. Wow, it's down to 0.91. Why would this one be less? Airflow is about the same. I don't notice any performance difference with the steel versus aluminum. I'm surprised. I should check the cap values. I'll do that before the video is over. Or maybe I'll do it in a separate video. I can have them both on the ground. Okay. It's possible that I changed the... In fact, I know I changed the cap in that one, but it's possible... So I made it a slightly higher value in an attempt to uh, keep it from stalling out on low. I don't think I would have done that, but we can certainly check. That's very weird. Well, I'm going to double check that it is in fact steel blades. Um, they're certainly heavier and thicker. I I did magnet test the aluminum ones earlier, but I didn't magnet test these, so... Can't hurt. Come on, you stupid thing. I can't tell how that looks, so I'm going to assume it looks good. That's going to take a while to spin down, so I'm going to run empty water bottle downstairs. I had time to go downstairs and it's still spinning down. While it spins down, I'm going to start taking apart this Crompton Greaves. It's still sitting on the floor fully assembled. I don't know why I do that sometimes. Let me know if it stops and I don't notice. Hey, who is he talking to? So I'm in the market for more 36 inch curves bladed industrials, um, preferably cast motor. So if anybody has any for sale, let me know. I don't know if it still counts as an industrial, but like those little tats and stuff that don't have a lower canopy, those don't interest me. I need them to look like a full-on industrial, you know, with a... <clears throat> I 
I looked around and I really don't have a lot of uh, small curved blade industrials. I got a lot of small straight blade industrials. I got those contacts. You know, if that coat up was white instead of brown, it would be perfect. So I actually like it better in brown. But those Demcos, those are straight bladed. Union Ever Going Viral Fan, one of the main ones to do 36 inch curve blade. <clears throat> Tat, too. Everybody else realized that, uh, Excuse me, straight blades more is more sense on a small fan. Because they do. Straight blades make more sense on a small fan. Well, it looks like we're coming to a close here. Just putting some of these bits away. Yeah, I love these, but I was about done with them in the garage. I'm over it. I'm glad there's some fresh blood there. tempted to do. Okay. So no more of that. This will be our last full spin down for this bugger. One microfarad. Two. Wow. This one starts on two. The other one starts on four. Why are they so different? This one draws less current. The, varn the windings are varnished on this one, and the bearings are new. The other one, the bearings seem fine, though, and I can't see what varnishing the windings would do to improve performance, but, okay. That's 0 0.1, 3, 0 0.16, 4, 0 0.21, 1, 5, 0.27, 6, 0.34, 7.4, 8.46, 9.53, 10.59, 12.64, 13.68, 14.74, 15.74, 17.88, 17.88, uh, 18.91, <coughs> 19.93, what was high? 0.93. Okay. State. We're at point zero nine. So far it's silent, it's a testament to what varnishing the windings can do. It's a turn, point one seven, still silent. It's a turn, point three. It's a little noisy, but not nearly as noisy as the other one. <clears throat> it's a turn, point 
turned 0.55, now it's kind of noisy. Get the turn 0.75. Hi, 0.94. Okay, last things last. Let's do a zero to high with both. You know what, no. <clears throat> Let's first see where they both start. I got both motors plugged in. Let's grab the... Oh, that, that one's plugged in now. Okay. What? Four. Is that one moving? It almost seems like this one's moving, but it's hard to tell. Yep, that one's moving at four. Five, six, seven. Seven is where. That one starts moving. Okay. Let's do zero to high for both of them together. Still normal. Up to two amps, and I bet you it'll drop as this gets up to speed. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is check the cat value in both of them, and I'm going to take this one down first when I do that. I uh, may or may not film it. So, if they're not the same, I'll mention it somewhere or make a note of it somewhere. Thanks for watching.